How do you know they're pissed off? Because they asked for a release. Well, so what? That's the only thing you could do. If you think their offer's not fair, you have one recourse. If you're a player, you ask for a release. Actually, well, you don't. True. You can, actually, you don't ask for a release. True. You just don't accept their you offer. You can make a counter offer. Uh, well, how do you know? A, how do you know we didn't do that? And B, well, you just said uh, how do you, how do you it's know? The only thing they can do. How so do I you said know? Is another option. How do you know? Well, if that, if you hit the wall, right? If you right. hit a wall, if the negotiations, mm-hmm. all you can do as a player is turn down what they offered you and force them to release you. That's business. How do you know there's emotion here? I'm sure there's a lot of emotion here. I mean, you may be right. You may not be. How do, do you, you know? How do you know? I think they. I, I think, think there's pissed. some natural. We talked about it Friday. There's some natural human emotion going on. Yeah, I know. Bedard writes about it. You heard guys talking about it this weekend. Uh, but, I think- but you know, uh, Ron Borges is trying to get that story, and I assume he will at some point. He hasn't yet. You have not well, heard you from. Have you have not heard from release. outraged. Well, no, that's not true. I because think so. A release is, you don't really ask for a release, you just turn down their offer, right? No, my point is, you have, I think until whatever happens, happens, the release, then you'll hear from Bianca and Vince. But see, no, see, here, here's the flaw here. In You turn down their offer, right? Mm-hmm. As a player, you're under contract, so he's just going to, he's as far as he's concerned, he's going to be at camp, right? He's going to be at OTAs. He's under contract. You don't say, damn it, release me. You just say, I got a contract, I'm not redoing it, right? Mm-hmm. So well, how do we assume that's not what he's done? Or do you think they're not outraged? Or you just don't know? I just, I know, I think he understands this is business, yes. I think that's, uh, I mean, obviously he's disappointed. But again, he never thought he was going to play this contract out, unless he's a dummy. I think Dino called him a dummy last week. I disagreed. He knew. Uh, I didn't call him a dummy. He, I said he, knew he would be upset. She would be upset. By, by what? They, by, by being disrespected. And not uh, getting all their money, all the money that in 2010, I believe it was, he worked his ass off to get. And but I'm sure knew. the fact that Did they just he ever dumped a, thought... a, a truckload of money in Revis's lap probably didn't help the that, case either. But see, that to me is childish. If you're a player in the NFL, you Are you know how... Vince childish? Yes. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I don't know. See, you you don't know. I, I, I think what he, do you think? I, I think he might think? view this as business. This is in the NFL. He knew he was never going to play on the last year of this deal. Would you agree? See, I don't know that. I, 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 I do. I, see, I, do. I, I yeah, think I, do. I, I he would was agree never... with what Ron said the other day and that there are some guys when they sign this deal. Some guys aren't. McGinnis talked about it. He didn't think that. Guys, some guys think, though, when they sign that deal, you know what? I'm going to be good enough at that age that I'll still be worth that money. But the... two years ago, coming off an all-pro year, I'm sure Will Do you think Akeem Tlaib thinks he's going to play out the contract? No, that but he I just think Vince thinks Denver? he's different. I think Vince thinks he's special to this organization, to this community, special? to the owner. You yes. mean more special than Revis or DeMarcus Ware, these these future Hall of Famers? No, no, no. More special as a long-term member of the New England Patriots who thought he had carved out a niche in this community, see, a niche in this organization, and he and she believes he should be treated better than this. Here's why it's silly. This. He watched it happen to McGinnis. You know, he watched it happen to you know Ty Law. He watched it happen to uh, any number of players. He knew that this is how it works in the NFL. Hell, he just watched it happen to Revis and Ware. And yeah, but I think he thinks he, within the Patriots world, correct. he's higher up than yes. those guys. Then yes. whom? Then Wel- McGinnis. Welker? Then McGinnis. Then Welker. Yes. He's a lifer. He's been but, there since the start. Fair or unfair. Do uh, you think he's or not, the second best player ever? Because only Brady would, uh, in that, uh, as far as I can tell. I think you can make an argument. Only Brady the, gets treated, gets special treatment. I think you make an argument he's the second best full-life Patriot guy of the Belichick era. Sure. For more, visit weei.com slash video.